All right, everyone, welcome back to another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video with Fat Phil. So we're gonna do the Watt Tambor mission here. All of my Geonosians, as you'll see, are gear 12. I do not have stellar mods on these guys, so we're just gonna go in, kind of see what we can do. Um, the key aspects to this mission are keeping the clone sergeants, arc troopers, you know, our characters with AOE abilities. We wanna make sure that they're ability blocked as much as possible. And we also wanna utilize the Hailfire tank at the start of each phase and that way we're throwing out as many debuffs as we can like tenacity uh or tenacity down stagger you know anything we can get on those characters is you know better than nothing um and then the other thing we want to keep in mind is that once we kill a character we need to keep clone trooper medics as uh ability blocked as possible we want to make sure that they can't be, we don't want them taking turns, right? That's the big thing is that if they can get a revive off, it can really kind of crush your run. Um, so the my normal kill order is the like AOE characters, like clone sergeant, arc troopers, things like that. And then going after and killing clone medics. Um, you could argue that if you can keep the clone trooper medics ability block that you could target down the clone sharpshooters before the medics um kind of at that point you know i'm okay if they go and you know wreck my summon because i can bring him back whereas if a clone medic brings back someone with an aoe and they take a turn i mean you could be up a creek without a paddle at that point um so again going into the next phase just make sure all your cooldowns are off um you know, are done, like, you don't need to be using spies specials here or anything like that, because you'd rather, like, at this point, we're not in any danger of losing, and so you want to save everything for the next phase and try and do as much damage as possible. So when you see Shock T in any wave, you want to target her down first, because she's going to give all of your clones retribution, and that can be super annoying to deal with, because they'll just keep counterattacking. Um, so you'll see there, like, they just did a counterattack, but now we've killed her, and then fortunately I got a turn with Sunfock where I could go and dispel that retribution. Um, so what you guys are seeing here is I'm just going around and, you know, working on keeping people ability blocked. Now, that Jedi Vanguard does have an AoE, but it doesn't really do a lot of damage, so I kind of just leave it go. Um... But other things to keep in mind here, guys, is that, you know, Geonosians gain health and protection when they use their basic. So the more you use your basic, the more likely you are to be able to, you know, regenerate health, regenerate protection. And so you want to kind of only use specials towards the beginning of, you know, the phase. And then towards the end of them, you know, just use those basic abilities, right? Start regaining all your health and protection that you've lost. Um, and then... You'll notice like here with the Jedi Vanguard, I'm targeting him with Spy because Spy can't, you know, trigger his counterattacks. And so kind of, you know, playing the, I call it almost like a ping pong kind of game where, you know, you're going back and forth between the characters that can and can't counterattack depending who's doing the attack. Um, you'll see we go back with Spy here. Again, just using basics. While it takes a little bit longer, I find that this strategy gives me the best chance of going into the next phase with the best chance, you know, with as much turn meter as I can. Um, so you guys will see, we're just gonna keep working through here. So Spy got that kill and everything is ready to go. So now what we're gonna do is call in that Hailfire tank. And so then in this node, we got Mace Windu and um, you'll notice first we're going to target down the clone sergeant. We want to get rid of him. And then with Mace Windu, the thing is he has the like shatter point ability, which is if when he attacks a character, he puts shatter point on them. And if he attacks that character again, it's an instant kill. And it's one of those things that like if he targets the, you know, the, the summon, I'm not too concerned about it because we'll just revive him. Now, that's not saying that you want to just let Mace murk him every single turn, but, you know, if we can, we'd prefer to keep our summon alive for as long as we can. So you guys will see there, 
that I didn't cleanse with Poggle. And then here I was like, you know what? Mace is going to take another turn. Let's cleanse that off. And then let's go for our clone medic here. Because if we can kill the medic, then I'll feel really confident that we could, you know, in this case, you guys will see, I'll let Mace kill the brute because I can bring him back. You know, I'll get the summon. Um, and that's why we want to, um, you know, like here, I thought about using it, but I was like, no, I'll save it for the next phase. Like we're in the home stretch here. And so we're just going to use our basics at this point and using, um, you will see I use the expose there just because if I can use that expose and get a lot of damage on mace, I think it's, you know, worth the trade off. And so go back to our basics here, summon the brute. And then at this point, you know, again, guys, just like every other phase you've seen, we're just going to kill these guys with our basic abilities. We're not going to worry about anything else. So now it's on to the clone trooper who I always leave. I almost always leave these guys for last because they don't do a lot of damage. They're just tanky as anything. So they really don't pose a big threat to Geonosians. So now we're into the last phase here. Um... And so you'll see the first thing we do is go after the clone sergeant. Want to try, we got our ability block there. And then you'll see here, Hailfire tank. And then with Arc Trooper. So Arc Troopers are probably the most dangerous threat to Geonosians because they have the AoE Daze ability. And so not only are they dealing a ton of damage to you, but they're also, you know, that Daze, if you're not ready with a cleanse, they can completely destroy your team. So... You guys will see that I continuously check, is he ability blocked, you know, because I don't I want to make sure that I'm not going to have to eat a daze here at some point. So we're just going to keep on kind of spreading our basics around. So once we get through Arc Trooper, we're mostly, I would say mostly in the clear, not 100%, but you're definitely in the, the closing stages there where you don't have any more AoE attacks. You won't have anybody who can stop your Geonosians from assisting. And so it'll be smooth sailing from here on out. So we get the arc trooper out of the way. And so then I always take out these clone commanders because they can give turn meter and I just get annoyed by them. Like that stun from Ayla, I don't really care if she stuns people because like she's only going to stun the summon. And while he can do some damage, it's not the end of the world if he's just sitting there with taunt like he's doing his job. Um, so again, we're just going to keep going here. So Spy does his thing. And then we're going to go after Luminara because if she can, you know, again, like at this point I could hit auto and I'm not going to lose the battle, but I just kind of prefer to play it out manually. Just, I don't know, it's force of habit, which is a good habit to get into that, you know, don't just always press auto because something could come up that maybe you weren't expecting or weren't prepared for. But otherwise here, guys, I mean, this is pretty, pretty simple at this point. Just keep on going around. We're just going to target down these guys and then uh, once I get Vanguard out of here, I think I do eventually hit auto just because, like, we're ready to go. Yeah, so there's the auto on Ayla. So hopefully this helps you guys clear the Watt mission. Um, like and subscribe for more content like this. Leave comments, you know, if you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to reach out. Otherwise, guys, I'll see you in the next video and appreciate you hopping on. Cheers.